Ryan. Slim Pickens. What's How's up, man? Going? Hey, we good have a Ryan in here, too. Uh, it's a good name. It means, yeah, it's it means good... king in Irish. So, Whoa. You know, uh, An Irish king. I'm not king, king of a lot. But... Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Ryan Downey. Hey, I'm Ryan Downey. Hey, I'm Ryan Downey. Ryan J. Downey. Ryan Downey. Welcome. Yay! I'm Ryan Downey's friend. Do you prefer Mr. Olympia, Mr. Universe, or Mr. Governor? Why not all three? <laughs> Why limit yourself? Brian Cranston, Dean Norris, and Aaron Paul all had turned up in different episodes of X-Files back in the day. That's right, X-Files, bitch. I just gotta make sure you've seen that before. As a, as a, as a huge metalhead myself, I, oh, that's, that's kind of like a that's awesome. perfect storm of awesomeness. Mega meth. I'm sitting back here with a couple of gentlemen. Hi. Just came off the stage. Look, you get to see a lot of leg and a little True. bit of nip. And that's, True. you know. And when I say little bit of nip, that's really all I can offer you. A little, a little bit goes <laughs> a long little. way. They're a little. <laughs> but a little bit goes a long way. But a little goes a long way, exactly. Usually in a romantic comedy, the flaws are like, um, I'm clumsy. Yeah. You know, you like, see a lot of clumsy women. She's got a lot of problems. But they look yeah. flawless. Yeah. We love you. That's why we're here. So, dude. Yes, sir. What are some things that a movie can't have? I mean, what are the, your immediate, like, red lights? Like, I'm not doing that. Oh, boy. Um... Boy, that's a good question. The Oak Ridge Boys may not have been singing about my Elvira, but that never stopped me from imagining her and Sammy Terry dancing to it together somewhere in a cemetery. Wait, cemetery? Sammy Terry. Oh. You know, Mike Tyson taught me that. <laughs> he puts you with a hand sanitizer and then you go like this. And it would kill all the germs in your in your nose. He puts so it all over his guess, mouth right before he fights. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. Well, there wasn't a trailer to go back to, but there was basically wasn't... actually sleeping in the Lazy Boy for <laughs> real. <laughs> <laughs> to save production money, I spent the night on the lawn. The DIY sort of spirit, like that ethic. Yeah, where you're doing this because you have to. There's a sequel everyone wants to know about. The Expendables three. <laughs> Can Th you tell us a little thanks, bit about that? Thanks uh... for the easy out. <laughs> Interviewed Harrison Ford, so put that going for me. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Who's Harrison Ford? Um, he's the guy who created the Ford automobile. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, uh, yes. uh, that one. Yeah. yeah. What'd you think about the fact that Bender wrote a role for himself where he beds Erica Christensen? I found that kind of funny. <laughs> well, come on, wouldn't we all do that? This um, is the place to talk about the violin. I know no one lets you talk right. about it in your band. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> okay. More about the violin. <laughs> Before I started acting, I was a huge fan of the Oz world, and I read all the books. But you've read like every book ever, basically, right? So um, last <laughs> it would week, make sense I, last that week I finished um, a book, and that was the last book. So I read everything. Perfect. Doyle's caveman style guitar banging cemented what diehard acolytes like myself consider the classic lineup of the legendary horror punks. I'm a huge Anne Rice fan, yep. and I was like, yeah, Tom Cruise, Lestat, no. And then I saw the movie, and you sold it, man. I was in, I was wow. like, this guy is whole set. This is the character brought to life. And then this time I was like, this is gonna sink him, this won't work. <laughs> Samurai movie, and then it's in my top five movies I've seen this year. Wow. Is this your plan? I mean, are you like, I gotta show everyone that I can do anything? <laughs> I was curious whether I could do it either. I like your jumper, that's cool. Thanks, thanks. Sweater, sorry. H &M. Trousers, too. slickers, flats. <laughs> we can give <laughs> you translate. Isn't it the thing though too of, the empty can rattles the most. You know, it's like, I've, I've talked to- That's a good analogy, yeah. I mean, the thing is, it, it, she lends sort of the same credibility that like Ian McKellen and Patrick Stewart did in the X-Men film, where they come out on screen and you're like, wait, I believe this now. Is this like a Tyler Durden? Is this right. this kid's id? Right. You know, showing up to bring up everything that's that's frozen in this I, house? Yeah, I think that's astute. Uh, in what ways are you are you still sort of married to seeing that play through? And in what way do you, you ever feel saddled by that? Like, you know, are you able to still play with it? And smart questions. I've interviewed Tom Cruise. I've interviewed Johnny Depp. Yeah. This takes the cake. This oh. is this is right there on the top. Wow, that that's a big. You didn't happen deal. to bring any cake with you, did you? Oh. Now, if there's a horror icon equivalent to the Avengers, Freddy and Jason might be Captain America and Iron Man, but Pinhead would at least be Hawkeye or maybe the Falcon. I listen to your book as an audiobook uh -huh. in the car because I drive a lot. Cool. What are your thoughts on re-recording it with the Russian accent? <laughs> just for, for just for pure fetish, Maybe, fetish eyes. Yeah, right, yeah, in the outfit too. <laughs> outfit. I would be up for it. Yeah. I, would, I would do it. Well, I have my Raylan Gibbons shirt tonight, and yet Tim doesn't. What's wrong with this picture? That could be a boy T-shirt too, man. It really is. I mean, it's, it could be Raylan. 
So you could boy, boy if you just button the if top. If you button the top, you'd be that's, boy. That's really the it's that subtle a difference. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. Now we are at KNB Studios in California, the special effects house that is responsible for all the gore in Kill Bill and Wes Craven movies and Robert Rodriguez movies and of course in a lot of zombie flicks. We're done. I am in the undead. Dude, I've got album covers scarier than you. Beat it. Shut the door, too. <laughs>